In Atlanta's Inman Park, you'll find a new food hall that's drawing crowds of hungry people. It's called the Crog Street Market. It's a place to hang out, to enjoy some food, and maybe some drinks. But it has not always been that way. It was once a boarded-up warehouse on a street where cars would travel at highway speeds. In this next segment, we'll learn about the architecture that transformed it into what it is today with Melody Harklerode, president of the American Institute of Architects, Atlanta. She's talking with the two people who designed Croc Street Market. That's architect Rob Rule and also developer David Cochran who begins by talking about history behind the space, including when it was a production studio for Tyler Perry. Adaptive reuse is taking something that was built for a purpose and then repurposing it into something else. So this was built, both sides of the road here were originally built as the... Atlanta Stove Works Manufacturing Facility, which made pot belly stoves and cast iron skillets. Where we're standing right now, there was a building here. So this was this is a bridge to nowhere right now, but it was a bridge to somewhere at one point. And then it then in over time they sold this piece off, then they were just here, and then they closed in nineteen eighty five. And then this was repurposed and then this was Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry began his career here. He shot his first uh, first two sitcoms here, I believe, the ones that basically put him on the map. And then he just exploded after that. I mean, he basically outgrew it very fast. So he just, you know, picked up and moved out, and, and it just kind of went dark. It was kind of a shame. It was razor wire everywhere. I mean, there was a fence line right here. Oh, yeah. You couldn't walk down this side of the road. So when we bought this whole block and this whole block, we brought it back under uh, single ownership for the first time in 30 years, which I thought was really neat. Um, so we basically brought the Atlanta Stove Works back together. Rob, when David brought you on board, what was your first impression when you started visiting, at the time, what was the Tyler Perry Studios that were closed? What did you see? What we saw was what David was talking about earlier. We saw a, a road that was not a pedestrian-friendly road at all. It was a high-traffic road. We saw buildings that had been sort of turned their back to the street. They had been shuttered uh, because they were sound and production studios. Windows had been boarded up. Um, there was no sense of place, there was no sense of character along the street. So, so it really wasn't a place where people wanted to be. Even though the building had historical roots, the, the Atlanta Stove Works had been here for over 100 years. It was, it was started in 1889. It wasn't closed down until the late 1980s. Uh, so it had a long history of being in Inman Park, which is the first streetcar suburb of Atlanta. I mean, this was one of the very, very first and has a lot of historic roots. And, and, and people really associated the, the, this district, the Stove Works District, even though they weren't spending time here, they associated it with the pride of place of Inman Park. When the sort of the, the vision that, that David had come around to and said, you know, what about an adaptive reuse? How, how can we reuse this? That's when the light bulb started going off. And we started saying, you know what? People love a sense of authenticity when they're talking about a place they're going to spend their lives, their time. They love authenticity. What can we do to make this a more authentic place where people can hang out and, and really enjoy themselves? To create that authenticity though, what we did with a project that was previously boarded up, it had a lot of solid walls, uh, you can see that we've opened it up. We've, we've left the, the structure of what's there. We even left the bridge to nowhere because it has such a romance and character to it that people just love. Even though they're, they question, what is that? Why is that there? They're talking about it. They're saying, why is that there? And they, they like the, fan, the fanciful notion that there's this bridge up there. The sense of place, it really has struck me that you see so much energy, people along the street, on the patio, again, the area that was dead. And I really appreciate that addition to the neighborhood is just the energy. Let's go inside. So can you explain now in terms of some of the changes, alterations that you've made? The first step was when we decided this was going to be, be a repurposed adaptive reuse, we had to demolish the entire structure on the inside. 
So imagine, if you will, in the air on lining both sides of the uh, pitched roof on the far right-hand side and the far right left-hand side were mezzanines. You know, elevated areas that were all dressing rooms and makeup and, and, and uh, whatnot for Tyler Perry. And in between, every 40 feet was a giant demising wall that went all the way to the ceiling. So this clear story glass that you see with all this natural light, light flooding in, you really didn't see it. You didn't feel it because, you know, the mezzanines came out, they blocked most of it, and you had the demising walls. So we came in and demolished the whole structure from the inside. And I'll never forget this moment. I walked in through door, the doors back there that were kind of buried in that corridor, and I literally lost my breath, and that never happens to me. I, was, I walked in and I went, wow, like, this structure is unbelievable. It's so much better than I even thought it was gonna be in a thousand years because I could see all the light and you could see the structure itself and it felt like it was 10 times bigger than every time I had been down here, literally. And I, I just literally said to myself, like, this is amazing. Like, this is gonna be amazing. And as David said, it was such a surprise when we finally saw the realization of what we had dreamed and hoped was there. But then we, were, we, we started looking at what space was there and we were saying, uh, what do we do with that? And we, we sort of had the vision that we had to bring the scale of that space down and, and really uh, create people spaces within this very large space. So how do you do that without doing what happened before where you block natural daylight? So we created sort of these low pavilions out of, out of what looks like you know, metal, all the gray metal is all added and new to create stalls, if you will, um, uh, the, the traditional kind of you know, American marketplace stall. Uh, think of Charleston, uh, the marketplace, it's just like that. And it's within the space, le leaving all the natural daylight, all the energy of the existing structure, which is the white painted metal above that, to reflect light and bounce light and sound and sort of the ambiance and character of the space. back in terms of what you've gone through finding this property and developing it and creating this wonderful design and you're looking at it now it's full of vitality and life and energy how do you feel about this process I, I feel that um, you know most people would tell you that that we worked with that were sort of invested in this process the, the people of the city of Atlanta people in Inman Park uh, the development community, I mean, they will tell you it's, it's a great thing to see happen for Atlanta in general. It's had an impact on Atlanta. People know about Crock Street Market now outside just this neighborhood, and, and it's drawing people in. That's, that's, that is the biggest compliment in the world. That and every time I come down here, I see about five or six developers walking out. And I know it's developer because they're always looking up. <laughs> you know? They're looking up and they have a notebook and they're, and they're talking with their hands and they're not eating. So I know it's developers and that's the biggest compliment in the world to me. As, uh, as I said, as someone who is a lover of great architecture and building stronger communities in Atlanta, I commend both of you for really giving this area such new life and energy. And uh, I'm proud to be an architect. Well, this one makes me proud.